Might as well put my feet up while I can. <laughs> Got a job interview this dinner time. Oh, what sort of a job? Hmm, I suppose you could call it medical. <laughs> Looking after the elderly in one of them care homes. Ah, I see. I suppose it'll be a cross between a matron and an air hostess. <laughs> see ya. <laughs> If getting old's not bad enough, you have to have her looking after you. Well, at least Angela was spared that. <laughs> I've been working it out, you know. She'll be 59. It's no age, is it? Will you know many at the funeral? Neville has son, that'll be about it. No, I, I'm sort of thinking, I mean, you're obviously not looking forward to it, so... Why are you going? Well, how can I not? I was married to her for four years. I hated every minute of it, so you said. Well, not every minute, no. Um, me and Steve are back together for what we hope is a bit longer this time. Not longer. So, um, so you're going to be seeing a lot more of him and... Well, I'd, I'd really like it if we could all get on. Yeah, you know, if we could tell one another how we're feeling. Right. Listen, you're still the most important person in the world to me, OK? So if you're not happy about anything, then I want to know about it. I'm not happy. Cos you want to get back to your PlayStation. Look, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about me and Steve. It's OK. Uh, I did want to say one thing, and that's that um, I'm not trying to replace anybody, you know? Like who? Well, you know, like his uncle. So, look, if you are unhappy, then I do really want to know about it. Is that it? Yeah. Hey, uh, you can talk to me as well. Right. All right? Yeah, but I wish Eileen had stopped going on about Malta. You know what it's like when someone's been on holiday and you haven't? Oh, she's not getting out of the photos, is she? Oh, no, no, no. She's collecting them this morning. So, it's only going to get Excuse worse. Excuse me, Jamie. Can I just ask what it was you were saying to the police the other day? Sorry? What I saw I'll... you talking to them. I imagine it was about me, was it? Jane might not want to tell you. And he doesn't have to. I wasn't talking about anything much. I... It was just about what happened with the fire before and if I'd seen anything. Did they ask about me? Claire, this isn't fair question, Jamie. Did they ask about me? Yes. Not particularly, no. So what were you telling Valet about just now? Claire, will you just stop it? Nothing. Look, I was talking to him about Eileen's holiday. But we weren't talking about the police or, or the fire, I swear. Lots of other shops, as well as the one on Coronation Street. Mm, just shops, though. As opposed to what? Restaurants. Oh, no. <laughs> Good, because it's his money we want, not his ideas on what we should be doing. Look, we'll listen to his ideas just till we get his money. Because you know what they say, it's too many cooks and it's true. Look, as soon as we get it, we'll stop listening. Well, yeah. Don't you worry. I can handle Dev. I've got to protect myself, Ashley. It's bad enough that someone tried to kill me, but now they're still trying to make out it was me who started the fire. Who is? You don't know that. I know from the way people are acting, like them two. You just heard what Violet said. They weren't talking anything about you. Oh, she would say that, wouldn't she? Of course they were talking about me. Hey, Casey. Here again. Not really, no. The police have been round again asking questions. Look, I'm going to come round. Yeah, I am. You sound like you need someone to talk to, like I used to. Whatever I'm doing can wait. Right, stay calm, like you used to tell me, and I will be with you as soon as I can. Bye, love. You'll probably find it's less of an ordeal than you're expecting. <laughs> Will I? And, and you don't have to go to the reception afterwards. No, I, I, I doubt very much that I will. Well, right then. 
I'll, uh, I'll see you later. Bye. Hiya. Give us uh, three custard slices, will you? Yeah. All for you. No, one for me, two for my colleagues. I'm only joking. Hiya. Oh, hiya. Hiya. At least still haven't found out who started that fire at her house, have they? You're going to make a joke about that as well. Am I heck? Having your house set on fire is a bit more serious than eating like a pig. You take a look at that. She's not bad. Not bad? She's fantastic. Hey! Who said you could look at them? Give me. So, who is she, Eileen? You never told us Steve pulled. It's just someone he met. Well, I, I met. We met. Just give me the pictures. What's her name? I'm not telling you. These are private photos. You're not supposed to be seeing them. <laughs> Has she got any sisters? Only I'm thinking of moving to Malta. I wasn't like, but I, I am now seeing them. No. So you save yourself the trouble. Streetcars. You do realise that Steve hasn't said a word? I know, but, uh... I think we should. <laughs> <laughs> Norris? Oh, Neville. Well, it'll soon be over. It's got to be. I'm going to give you 30 minutes and then it's right next, please. Really? Um, I was wondering, have you met Ivor? Uh, no, 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 I haven't. Ivor Priestley. How do you do? Norris Cole. Ivor was the one after you. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, if you'll excuse me. Uh, the one what after me? Husband. I married her in 2002. I believe you were 95 to 99. <laughs> I was, yes. There's another one over there. George Trench. I believe he was 04 to 06. Have you met him? Uh, I, I haven't, no. Please must think it with me. That's why do they keep talking to me neighbours? Can they not have any leads? Evidence or anything? I can't have, can they? That's why it wasn't me. But people aren't stupid. They know what the police are thinking, so they start to think it themselves. Well, I certainly don't. Just so you know, in case you were wondering, I know it wasn't you. Thanks. It's a relief to hear that from someone who know they actually mean it. Very good of you to come. Okay. Nice to see you. Yeah. Happy occasion. Okay, thank you very much. <coughs> uh, Norris Cole. Oh, George Trench. Oh. I was saying you were 04 to 06. Oh, you're not wrong. Though it was late 04 to early 06. Barely 18 months, if truth be known. Well, I was two and a half years. Barring a spell when she exiled me to the mobile home. So, Norris here has picked both of us. Uh, yeah, four years, so I suppose I have, yes. Oh, you must have some staying power. No, no, I was just better at ducking and diving. <laughs> uh, right, gentlemen, we're all off back to the house. Uh, I hope you'll all be joining us. Yes, right, sir. Yes, yes, thank you. I have to warn you, it's teetotal. My wife, she's got very strong views on alcohol. Oh, uh, has she? Well, I'm not sure... Come along, been... Neville. Oh, uh, see you there. Uh, like, mother-like. Daughter in law by the sound of it. I shouldn't think I'll be stopping very long. No, me neither. Look, I mean, we could, you know, if you fancy it, go back to my uh, local, have a drink there. That's the best idea I've heard today. It is. And we, do and it. we don't want to be disrespectful, but what's the shortest time we could stay at their house? Ten minutes? Mm. Or five. In one door, out the other? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Here we are. Uh, a pint of bitter, please, Violet. Pint? Yes, that's right. Either. Can you recommend the beer in here? Well, it's never done me any harm. I'll have a pint, then. Thank you. George? The same for me and all. Thank you, Norris. Make that three pints, then, please. <laughs> She'd be turning in a grave, Angela. <laughs> if she had one, which I realise she has. Seeing us all on beer, wouldn't she, just? She couldn't even stand having it near her. No, she thought it was common. She said she thought I was common as well. And me? I don't know why she married us. I think she must have liked a challenge, didn't she? I mean, and then when she'd overcome it, she'd just move on to the next one. 
Shall we have some crisps? Crisps? She couldn't stand them either. Or oh, pickled eggs. And three packets of crisps and three pickled eggs, Violet, if you've got them, please. <laughs> Thank you for the tea. Now, where were we? Educational qualifications. I haven't got any of them. No. Well, professional or vocational qualifications. No. You see, other women might have had time for all that. Me, I've been a wife and a mother. Sacrificed myself, you might say. So, what was your most recent employment? Serving on in a chip shop. Wong's of Coronation Street. We're quite a classy sort of place. But have I got this right? You've really no experience or training that's relevant to care work? Well, like I say, I brought up a family. And working in a chip shop, that's an education. You've all sorts to deal with. Drunks, down and outs. Old people will be a doddle after what I've had to face. Let's have a little walk round, shall we? Then you can see what we offer. Though, of course, most of our residents are about to have their lunch. Feeding time at the zoo. <laughs> Should I have brought some peanuts to throw to him? You'd rather you didn't. If you'd like to come this way. Steve. How are you, mate? I'm all right. All right. Pretty good, yeah? Two glasses of oranges, please, Michelle. Nobody doing much work, then? No, no, we've got bookings for this afternoon. So we thought we'd have an early dinner and bring young Stevie, my lad, up to date with this morning's developments. Right. Like what? Arnie's had a holiday snaps back. Big deal. That's what we thought. No, no, no. Really good they are. Loads of bright colours. You can almost feel the sunshine. 240, please. Here you go, doll. Eileen's holiday snaps. Oh, you really do have an exciting time, don't you? Yeah, well, some of us don't. But somebody did. On a beach with Eileen and a... Yeah. What was her name, Steve? Who? Who? <laughs> Who is it? <laughs> Who? <laughs> Beautiful. Cavacious. And with her arm around you. And you looking like that cat that got the cream. Shall we sit down, lads? Over there. Mm. Oh, no. There he is, over there. Oh. Who's he with? Well, there's only one way to find out. Oh, hi. Uh, I... Hi, Norris. Oh. <laughs> Funeral go off all right? Uh, yes, it went very well, thank you, Dorian. Uh, this, this, this lady's uh, on my staff. How do you do? Pleased to meet you. And who are you? Uh, George Trench. Ivor Priestley. We're all uh, uh, ex-husbands. Angela's exes. <laughs> oh, my word. Hey, we could start a club. Oh, uh, <laughs> Angela's ex-husbands club, we could. And, and seeing as he's longest serving, I nominate Norris oh. as chairman. Seconded. <laughs> well, I must say I'm very honoured, but would, would we need uh, a, tre a treasurer? No. We've all paid our dues already, many times over. Being married to her, you mean? Yeah. We have. <laughs> we have life membership. My first act as chairman is to order one of you two to get another oh, round. I will, Mr on. Chairman. And Chris. And, and Chris. Oh, and pickled eggs, <laughs> don't forget yeah. those pickled eggs. Look, guys, you know, it was just some girl that I met and got talking to, and I don't even remember her name. <laughs> do we believe him? We do not. No, sorry, Steve, but you don't believe me. I mean, in the photo, you are slogging her face off. And it was a photo that Eileen did not want us to see. Well, you guys believe what you like. We are doing. <sighs> Look, don't... Don't tell Michelle, you know. What was if? <laughs> you wouldn't do that. You'd have to worry about that. Anyway, we've only just got back together, so... Hey, you wouldn't want her upset, would you? No, of course you wouldn't. Oh. And if you introduce us to the other lady... We won't tell her about Michelle either. Then it'll be fair. On both fronts. You know what I mean? Thanks very much for coming, Dev. I really do appreciate it. Doesn't mean I'm going to say yes. Of course it doesn't. You've just come for a look round and get a feel for the place. And uh, have a nice lunch, I hope. Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> so what does the chef recommend? Well, why don't we ask him? 
Oh, and um, I've got you copies of all the financial things, so you can take that away with you as well. This is our chef, Paul. Ah, uh, bonjour, non, Paolo. Hiya. Hiya. What do you mean, hiya? What, hiya? What, 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 he's not Italian. <laughs> nah, could be if it'd help. <laughs> well, OK. So, anyway, what do you recommend, senor? What is your, uh, c'est quoi, your, uh, pièce de résistance? Well, mon ami, if it were me, I'd go with the fagioli, then the pizza mexicana. Wash down with a bottle of our best Chianti. Fagioli. <laughs> well, just a, a glass of white will do with that, thank you. I don't want to go around signing things I can't uh, remember anything about. Right? That's white wine to start. And after that, I've got one or two questions of my own. Well, I thought you might have. Well, not about this place. Different questions. But, uh, might as well enjoy my meal first, yeah? Yeah, sure. They're an eye opener, aren't they, these places? <laughs> oh, yes. I'm sure I can do the job. You've not put me off. <laughs> well, but I'm afraid your lack of qualifications does rather put me off. Now, as it happens, we do have a vacancy for a domestic assistant, and I'd be happy to offer you that. Domestic assistant? What's that when it's at home? Cleaning and maintenance. Might help with serving at meal times, but mainly cleaning. Well, I don't know what to do now. I'm not seeing anyone else till tomorrow. Perhaps if you could let me know by then? I thought I could rely on you. I thought I could trust you. Er, uh, you could. So why have you been flashing photographs of me and Shania all over the place, then? I have not been flashing anything. They have been looking at them behind my back. Well, you must have left them lying around, then. You must have. Yeah, well, I left them on this desk, which is my desk. I should be able to leave things here without people sticking their nose in. Oh, so when they said, oh, who's this, what did you say? I didn't tell them anything. I told them they were private pictures. Because they think this is hilarious. Do you know that? When Michelle stood there wondering what they're going on about. Well, don't blame me. Blame them. She didn't say anything, then? What about being a fella? Look, don't even say that. Don't even whisper that. Oh, so that's what you're frightened of. Not that they'll find out that you copped off, but that they'll find out you didn't cop off. And what's worse, the reason why you didn't cop off. Look, just hide the photographs and refuse to answer any more questions, all right? Say please. Please. Hmm. Shall I have some questions? Yeah, go on. Well, the last time we had anything to do with one another, you took me to court for sexual harassment. And now you're asking me for money? <laughs> now, that's a joke, right? I'm really glad you phrased that. Yeah, I bet you are. It wasn't me taking you to court. It was Maya just getting her own back, and you know it was. I know that you were sitting next to her, and I know that you were telling lies about me. I was a lot younger then. She told me what to say, so I just said it. It was a pack of lies. Yeah. Yeah, it was, and I'm sorry. I really do apologise. Well, at least you know I'm not coming to you, because I think you're a soft touch. I know you're going to be super critical of me, and I know you're going to be watching my every move. That's fine. I'd just like you to see this as a business proposition. You invest, and we'll work our socks off to make sure you get a good profit. This time I'll be the one with the hotshot lawyer, right? I'm sure you will. Give me some time to think about it. <laughs> Vodka and tonic, please. Coming up. Um, did you get that job, then? It, me. Oh, but you're not going to accept it. That's the story, is it? No, it's not. In fact, I'm ringing right now to accept. You can listen if you like. Oh, I don't know as I'm that interested. What sort of job is it? Hygiene specialist. Working with the elderly. Hello, Mrs Crumtree. It's Mrs Battersby Brown here. <laughs> I've thought about it, and I would like the job, thank you very much. Bus size. Oh, the uniform. <laughs> yeah, it's... All right, so we all know marriage. It's not easy. Well, it's damned hard. 
<laughs> it certainly was with Angela. I look at us. Three decent men and none of us could go. So my question is, would you ever consider getting married again? Oh, dear. Well, none of us have, have we? I wouldn't want to marry Angela again. Well, you couldn't, could you? She's just gone up in smoke. <laughs> so, would you marry anybody else? Of all the ladies I couldn't be acquainted with, no, I can't say as I would. I feel the same. Now, Mr Chairman, what about you? Oh, no. Remember, he had far more of Angela than either of us. Just let him answer for himself. Sorry. Well, since you ask, and uh, since, you know, we're being honest... Uh, it's a day for honesty. <sighs> honesty and uh, alcohol. Well, uh, uh, there is somebody, uh, a lady... Uh, I'm quite fond of, I suppose. Ah, and are the feelings reciprocated? Is she fond of you? Well, I, 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 I've never asked her, but uh, I think she might be, yes. So, are you going to pop the question? Oh, I hadn't thought of going that far. Well, why not, if she's the one? Faint heart, never won fair lady. Come on, Norris. Well, well I suppose I might. Yes. <laughs> Good man, Norris. Hey, and will you tell us what she says? Oh, yes. Yeah. A toast to Norris and his bride-to-be. Norris and his bride-to-be. Uh. Oh, congratulations, Norris. Watch our new and exclusive real-life online daily soap, Web Lives, at itv.com slash web lives. Next, the Bill's new recruit gets Smithy's back up. Then, for 11 years, Alzheimer's sufferer Malcolm and his wife Barbara were filmed for a touching documentary highlighting the effects of the disease.